Like a magician. Flying kites. It began as a hobby for Andy and Brenda Sias. So we came out, we camped, we flew. We slept, we flew, we flew, we ate, we flew. One of a kind silliness. When Brenda was laid off from her Seattle area job 25 years ago, they moved to Ocean Shores to unfurl a brand new life and take to the skies. We had an unemployment check and thought, well, it's now or never. Started with a credit card with a $1,500 limit on it and brought in our own personal kite collection and sold it off. That store is Ocean Shores Kites. And it's come a long way since that maxed out credit card. It, I believe, is the world's largest selection of retail kites for sale. They have every kite imaginable here. This is a trilobite. There is even one with owner Andy on it, back when his hair was shorter. We actually sold out, and I had to make more of them. The back room is stuffed with vintage finds. World War II military target kites. An unofficial kite museum. But the best thing about Ocean Shores kites is its neighbor. The beach is just two blocks away, welcoming both flyers and fans. It's awesome. I think everybody should go fly a kite. Anybody can do this. If you're short, if you're tall, if you're skinny, if you're fat, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter if you're rich or poor doing this. The owner of Ocean Shores Kites may be a frugal guy, but he and his wife have made themselves a life that is wealthy with wind and color and friends. Really good to see you today. And I bet you can't name one rich guy with his face on this many kites. I mean, once you buy the kite, the wind's free. There's no greens fees or lift tickets or any of that. It's free. You just got to get there. And if you're smart, you just move there, you know? <laughs> I mean, really.